Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm feeling really kind of sorry for myself and a little bit like weak. I think because I've been working out again for the last week, my body's sort of repairing itself and now I feel drained and miserable and kind of like I'm trying to get myself back into some routine in the morning, trying to get myself up and then just miserable, miserable, miserable. Okay. Shut up. Shush. No one wants to hear it. Crack. Listen, shush. We're going to crack on today. We're going to move into today with absolute pace and energy. We're going to get stuff done. You, get away. We don't need you. Move, move, move. Idiot. Let's get it, baby. Well, sometimes it seems all you need is that pep talk from your evil twin. <laughs> Let's jump straight into the sales and get those out of the way. For £12 all in on Vinted is this Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Team GX game. I've had this sitting around for woo, so long. And yes, I just realised it says Tag Force, not Tag Team for all the nerds out there screaming. £12 I sold it for. Could have got more on eBay. And I probably should have listed it on there after all that time. But you know me, once I've taken the photos, unless it's really expensive, I'm not retaking the photos. And I can't be able to sit there and screenshot and crop everything like I normally do. Sometimes I will do that, but not all the time. £12 free postage. £12 free, no fees. Vinted. Dinky Jag, absolutely battered and could have got a little bit more, but it was sat around for so long. The tyres have all perished down. There are dents, there are corrosion. There is layer upon layer of what seems to be Tipex and paint. £7 free postage. I've got... 100, maybe 200 die-cast cars to go through in there. Luke and his wife have picked up the Thomas push-along stuff, noise, sounds, and trains. £15.99 all in. These owe me, I think I paid £6 for a big bag full of stuff. I've sold the bag for 11 a few trains for about 10 to 15 and then these. So I've made about 15, 20 quid after fees and stuff out the whole bundle. Oh, you'll never sell them there. Battered they are. They are trashed. No, they are just nicely worn in. The Dr. Martins that I think I paid £18 for, was it? £18. Took a risk because of the condition and price, obviously. Sold them. £64.99 pence after fees, etc. Probably going to make about 30 quid profit on top of that. Lovely. It goes to show what this person knows, doesn't it? Hopefully I can find the comments so I can screenshot it and put it up there for you, but 99p? Shut up, mate. Stick to your Connect 4s. And as far as sales go on platforms, that's all we've got going out. Well, that was the very difficult amount of postage done today. Oh, oh, I'm knackered. It's half nine. I might have to go inside for a little nippy nap. Man said nippy nap. So as I've told you all a million, billion times before, I want to work on this shelf today. I did start working on it yesterday a little bit, seeing what's what. And I'm going to start getting it listed because that is unacceptable. Do you know what I mean? Gross. I've probably got four grams of the stuff sitting there, believe it or not. Just tucked away. Nothing's happening with it. I've got loads of clothing to list as well today. I've just got loads of lots of things to sort out. Things that I've bought and put up on the listed shelf because it's out of the way. There's a lamp up there, two lamps up there. They're not listed. Stereos, amps. Absolute shirky behaviour. So that's what I'm going to get sorted out today. Now, I had a message yesterday from somebody who said that their son is about to set up an eBay account and they were very confused and they wasn't sure what to do, how to go about it and where to start and what the best options for them was. So I thought without teaching you how to suck eggs, anybody who already knows these answers, feel free to switch off now. Go and watch this video up here, actually. Don't just leave my channel. Stay up here. But what I thought I would do is very quickly and easily explain the best way to see if you're going to just you haven't got an eBay account. You're going to go get one now. Obviously, you need to sign up for eBay and get yourself an eBay account. Choose your name and all that kind of stuff. I would think carefully about your name and just go on to something like Bazaar or a free image making website where you can quickly make a little logo or something, you know, something to match your name. That's what I would do. Don't have no profile picture and a weird generic name. Get those sorted out. So you've got your eBay account and you've got your name and your logo. The logo doesn't have to be special. You can change that later, but you're just setting up. The fact that you are reselling for business purposes means you are going to need to go straight into a business account. However, if you are starting off with your personal items just to get used to it, who's to say what's a personal item and what's not? I don't know. I'm not judge, jury or executioner. I would start off on a personal account. Get yourself used to it if you are selling personal items. 
then move over to a business account. Or you can save all the faff, all the hassle down the line and just jump straight into a business account where you can pick yourself a nice shop and get yourself set up properly. Personally, that's what I would do. If I was going to go diving into this head first as a business, open your eBay account, choose your name, choose your logo, set up a business account, get it done. Now, when it comes to shops, unless you've got a warehouse or a garage sitting there full of thousands of thousands of thousands of items, I wouldn't open anything other than a basic shop to begin with. Just a simple basic shop. I think it's like £28.99 a month or something like that. The one I've got, I think, is the middle or the bottom middle. I pay £93 a month for my shop. And to be honest with you, with the listings I've got at the moment, I don't really even need it. So I might have to look at that, but I can't look at that because I know what's going to happen. I'll downgrade it and then I'll hammer the listings again because I've got the stock sitting here. I can have a thousand items stored, no problem. Fucking left my notifications on. Although, I ordered a very nice book yesterday. We won't go into that. So yeah, you want a basic shop and then you're just going to get listing. You're just going to get cracking. Recap, go to eBay, open an account. Choose your name. Think of a good name. Doesn't it? You can change it in 30 days. Go to a free image making app, Bazaar or Canva, whatever they are, and just make something with your name on it that you've chose for eBay, just so you can add it as your profile picture. Then, personally, open up a business account. Then, choose a basic shop store, 28 quid a month, depending on what listings you've got. It'll tell you as you're opening up what one suits you best. You might not even need them. You could just use your, I think you get 100 a month free regardless, without any shop, I think. Do some research into it. It tells you all on eBay. I'm not an eBay king or god. If you've got less than 100 items, you probably won't even need a shop. But you do get certain benefits with shops and stores and stuff, like more um, eyes on your stuff, which I think is a bit scammy, but it is what it is. So that's all you're going to do. And then you're just going to list and get the feel for it. After that, it's a matter of getting the feel for the app, getting the feel for how the website works, and getting the feel for reselling. You're just going to need to work at it. You're just going to need to dive in and go for it. You're going to make so many mistakes, you might even get some bad feedback to begin with. But if you really do your research into how to protect yourself, what the minimum is that eBay expects, and what is called going above and beyond, and you can figure all those out and implement that very early on, your account should stay nice and healthy for a very, very long time. You are going to get dings. You are going to get negs and neutrals. It happens. Most of us, including myself, take it very, very personally. I've learned to sort of not take it as personal anymore. Still do. I'm the one putting all the effort into this. It's my job. It's my business. So when I get a negative or a neutral, I'm like, oh. But now I'm starting to learn to realise. No, it's, it's not about me. It's about them. Obviously, it's about me as well. It's the service they got, whatever. So just enjoy it. Um, you know who you are that actually asked the question, but this actually does apply to a lot of other people as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how his channel grows. Channel, his account, his eBay grows, whatever. And if you guys have got any more questions or suggestions on things that you'd like me to go over, if I can, then I will. And I will just tell you now, I'm putting it out there, I am not an expert. I can only tell you from my own experiences. I might tell you something, and then in a response to a comment on a video that I make, somebody might say, well, actually, no, you can do this or you should have done that. And even that will teach me. So I'll tell you what I can. I know I waffle and I go roundabouts and stuff, but hopefully you got that information. It's about five steps. Open an account. Choose a name. Choose your logo. Sorry about that. Choose your shop if you need one. Decide whether to go business or private. It's entirely up to you what you decide to do. And then if you do business, choose a shop. Five steps. Five. Well, we've got a little bit of space there now. I actually managed to list this little double system here. It's a Kenwood system. Integrated amplifier with cassette deck. Both work very, very dusty, very, very grubby. I've cleaned up the inside a little bit, but there's not much I can do about it. I'm not going to spend too much effort on it because it's not worth massive amounts of money. It's a good price. It's going to be a good profit, a good earner, but... It doesn't need that kind of work. And I'll leave it like that. And before I ship it, I'll give it another quick rub over. And the customer's going to get it in probably a better condition than they thought they would. So top marks there. I'm going to work on... Well, that bored the life out of me, actually. So this needs to go over here. This is not listed. This is what I mean. I put things in places just to keep them out of the way. Because I think... I can't remember. Somebody on Instagram wanted that. So they've messaged me. And I forgot... That I basically held it for them, not held it for them, but I waited for their reply. They have replied to me, they've spoke to me, and I still haven't listed it yet, so that's on me. These golf clubs all need to be sorted out. They need to be sold. I can't remember, about 20 people asked me for them, I just can't remember. I just 
Basically, people who ask me for golf clubs, I can't be bothered to sit there and go through them all and tell you what I've got. If I do that, I'm better off just listing them myself. So I need someone local to come around and just have a look and go, yeah, cool, I'll buy them. That's what I need. What else have we got here that needs to be sorted out? Clothing. Might do a bit of clothing today. Can I be bothered to do clothing? Hmm. What I'm going to do now is the things that I bought yesterday, like that, that'll go up there because I need to get some batteries for it. That needs to get the names removed. And I'll just put things back onto shelves and won't do it. I'm going to do some... Okay, I'm going to list some clothing on eBay today. I can't think of a better t-shirt to test out what this table can do regarding to listing clothing. Now, I had no space before. Oh, look at all that space. Look. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. Fantastic. A little bit high there for me to work on clothing. Oh, let's just lower that down then. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me get those sorted out and see... Let's have a look. Yeah, I've just tested it. That's fantastic. In square mode, we can get purely that. So it chops all this off here and chops all that off. It looks great. This one is unfortunately going to go to Vinted because there's a little mark just there. Because I've already taken photos and stuff, I'm not going to go around and wash it and then get it back onto eBay. eBay is a bit more fussy when it comes to stuff like that. Vinted, they're a bit more easier. So I'll probably stick that one straight on Vinted as it is. But yeah, very happy with the fact that I can take clothing pictures on this table now so much better so 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 much better i might actually start getting proper money for my stuff now instead of just giving it away for giveaway prices <laughs> and this one has a little mark on it as well just there and i'm not washing it i've already got it out now i'm going to deal with it so they can both go on to vintage there once stood a ranger shirt we've got the ranger shirt photographed along with both napa piri t-shirts and the lacoste jumper Still find listing clothing very boring, no matter how easy it is, just there. Still very, very boring. But parcels done, ready to be dropped off when I take Ada or pick Ada up from preschool even. It's now only about half past 10. I've taken photographs of the stereo, something else, five pieces of clothing. Now what I'm going to do is go in my house and list those pieces of clothing and then work on editing a video because editing is now part of my daily life. So that's to me, it's still work, it's still a job. So that's what I need to go and do now. My point is, basically, if I wanted to, that could be the whole of eBay done for the day. I don't have to work on anything else once I've listed this stuff. But it won't be. I'll go inside, list that stuff, edit the video, grab some food, and then I'll probably go back in here and take a few more photographs. But if I really wanted to, I don't have to do any more. And the rain is coming down, so that's great. I certain... It's actually quarter past ten, not half ten. I certainly wouldn't... What's the word? Encourage doing as little as that. But I've got to do my editing as well. Have to. That just incorporates a part of my job, part of my day. But once that's done, I can move back in there and do some more stuff before half two. I've said the same thing three times now. What am I doing? Do you understand what I'm saying? A little bit, maybe? Kind of? I've air dropped them all across. I've put them into box C today. And all we're going to do is choose them and upload them. And it's that simple. Now I know I can just go to C. And there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh. Oh. Hello? I've got a letter saying that I owe some money. But I didn't pay enough postage. Is this going to be the start of what not people fucking up because mistakes are made? Let me look into this. Look at this fucker. I'm having to pay it. I don't know who it is or what it is. Could this be the start of what not's fuck up? You know, people not selecting the right postage options and stuff. And now people like me are having to pay the fucking postage. So I've not ordered from anywhere else apart from whatnot. I'm waiting on two whatnot parcels, that's it. We shall see. This whatnot parcel arrived all right, though. I keep getting carried away when I go on there and I do dip boxes. Got some more Japanese Pokemon cards and some Japanese alt art stuff. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I all care about Pokemon anymore. All I care about is the original 150 odd. Right, let's get on with some fucking listing again. Taking up my time, that was. I need to know who's I need to know who's who's done that to me. I need to know. The camera's there today, Ricky. Come on. Well, that's everything listed that I wanted to list today. 
I haven't got around to editing yet, of course, because I'm still here, but I really hope that explanation of how to quickly start up an eBay business, just to get going, just to get your feet on the ground, is helpful. I don't know. I know I waffled during it, so I'm going to try and narrow it down and make it make sense. But I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for coming in. Your time is very valuable to me, and I appreciate every second. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. What else can we do today?